Akawi here, welcome back to Regrowth, and uh, I think the first thing you'll be thinking is, how come it's Regrowth and not Infinity? So, uh, I'm having a little bit of motivation issues with Infinity at the minute, uh, I think the the spatial cell thing was uh, a nice thing to try, and it's, it's been pretty cool, but I'm at the point now on the build on Infinity where I need to move all the processing stuff out of the tower, out of the castle, into... I'm just going to talk about this for a minute or two, if you don't mind. I uh, hope you don't mind. Um, into the spatial cells, and it's a bit tedious. And I, I did start an episode yesterday. I think I've done about 15 minutes of it, but I'm going to be in the footage of doing the outside of the castle using arcane bricks. I'm not liking the way it's looking. I think I'm going to go to uh, either vanilla stone bricks or something else. It doesn't look very... I don't think the, the arcane bricks is working for the build. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little demotivated with it. I think... I've pretty much covered everything in Infinity I want to cover, so I'm kind of feeling at the point where I'm, I maybe want to wrap that series up because it's it's getting to the point where it's more chore than it is fun, you know? So um, anyway, I just wanted, wanted to let you know that. I thought I wanted to do another regrowth episode because I am enjoying this series. Now, I did actually want to start an Agrarian Skies 2 series, but I can't seem to get it to work. For some reason, uh, I've tried playing with Java arguments and stuff. For some reason, whenever I try and load it up via the case launcher, um, I get... Uh, I run out of memory and looking at my task manager it's only using one gig of memory and it should be losing up to four so I get loads of CPU load and then it crashes so I don't know what's going on there I've had a little look on the forums but I can't see anyone who's got the same issue that I'm having um, yeah, let's uh, get rid of some of that boop, boop. I got a bit of armor from killing stuff so I just threw it in there to fill the tutaman up which is why we have got random things like lookrum that's going to bin them for now. Uh, in there, right. So, a few things to do. A few things to do. As you can see, I've got a, I've got a modest tab in my inventory. We're going to get on with that in a minute. Quite a few quest things to go at. Now, one thing I want to do before we get into any quest stuff. In fact, let's just look in here. Uh, I've got two quests of unclaimed rewards. What are they? So, one of them is down in the witchery bit. And it's the brazier. So, I made the brazier. It's pretty straightforward. And that gives me two graveyard dust. I presume that's going to open up another quest. Ah, oh, it didn't. Okay. Unlocks one quest elsewhere. That, I believe, unlocked the last book, which I'd actually already made. So the Brazier Brazier, yeah, it's pretty straightforward to make. Let me just break that. I did give that efficiency five, like I said I was going to, that pick. So the Brazier there, you can see, it's one of our necromantic stones, some sticks and some iron, so that's pretty straightforward. So I just thought I'd make that off camera. That graveyard dust is something we're going to need in there. Uh, for that, but I'm going to leave that leave that in there for now I've got a master from a demonic contract in there I've not actually uh, seen if I actually need a coven it doesn't say anything about a coven on the on the website for that, so anyway there's that one and then what the world teaches, there we go what the world teaches that opened up this last book I summon thee and it gets me a bit more graveyard dust, the brazier is able to summon creatures and effects but you'd like to know exactly what it is capable of Conjuration and Fetish's book details these, so it should be worthwhile getting. So I believe, because that quest is able to hand in, I believe I've already got that in there. So I think I just made, made them all, didn't I? Quite a few episodes back. So in here, there we go, Conjuration and Fetish's, Fetish's, we've already got, so that's all good. And I'm going to sling that graveyard dust in there, and let's just go and put this out of the way in here. Uh, MXP drops. Boop. And I had 30 levels, so I just used it and I enchanted a book. And unfortunately, I got sharpness 3 out of that, so that wasn't great. So uh, there's there's a quest done there. Now, I've done a couple of other things in Witchery. But that's what the world teaches complete. So we're actually quite quest complete. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding off on A2 and Mechanism, but I'm going to have to get into it at some point, I think. So what the world enables, let's have a look. We've got this thing, this is waiting on me making some platinum, which we're going to, not platinum, titanium, which we're actually, we're going to do that in a little bit. But I've also seen on, I think Landstrider's video, or Funchans, that this needs some kind of plastic for the next part of this, which I'm going to look into making. But that's nearly done as well, isn't it? I suppose I should finish that off. Recording the world is a quest land that I've not really started on either side of this much. Life of the world. I was told kindly by a comment, thank you very much, that what the thing that I'm missing out of that at ninety eight percent is something from the spirit world and it's wood is it woodworm? No, not woodworm. Wood What's it called? 
I can't remember. It's a witchery. So which witchery plant that I don't have yet. And I'm going to waste time now looking for it. Rather than just... Um, Wormwood. There we go. I had wood in it. So Wormwood is the quest we're mission, missing there. So that's not showing the recipe as yet. Uh, so that's that one. And then... If we come down here... Oh, the only other stuff we've got is actually in here. So, a couple of things we can do in here. One of the things here, dream a little dream with me. I actually made myself some brews of sleeping. Brews of sleeping are pretty straightforward. I already had icy needles from growing my uh, snowbell seeds up. And it's actually asking me to go to the spirit world. So that is going to be an episode in itself very shortly. Now, I've done that before and I've done it. I, exact, I know exactly what I need to do in that, but it's quite long-winded playing around in the spirit world so that's going to take me a while but as you can see up here I've got 14 rules of sleeping and they're made quite simply using purified milk which is pretty straightforward milk bucket some order of purity which I've got a load of some wits of magic and some other stuff including, including brews of love so some of those brews of love that I made um, I have come useful so that's all good so we shall come back to that quest not just yet but uh, at some point now what I want to do in here is I want to do with these two guys here. Hold, I've got you now, and holding on, because I need a I need a familiar to make a coven. Now, if I'm sure what this is going on with, I'm actually building it up with Ignis. This takes ages. Some of the reason why I've not been doing Infinity is because this is running on single player, and I've had to keep it running because I've wanted to grow this node. Uh, I should have had this running on a server, and I could have left this running in the background. But yeah, this is taking absolutely ages to build it this way. Uh, it's, I mean, it's accurate, but it's slow. One thing though, is I've got Ignis here because this is the Ignis node that was through here with Leonard. Hello, Leonard. And this one is now at, get off. This one is now at a nice 101. So I want to go over 100. It's square root, so at 100 it should give me a power 10, but I just want to go to 101 to make sure. Because I've done it when it's just on before and it's given me one lower. So that's going to give me a nice energized 10 node, which we are going to use on an infernal furnace and an infernal blast furnace, which I'm going to make in just a moment. Before we do that, though, I'm going to come up to the surface and uh, night time coming, possibly. What I've got here is I've had to cover this with trees because uh, with bits of wood because one of the trees grew and uh, I don't want the trees to grow what I've got there is a water source with a cobweb above it and four rowan saplings that's wrong they're alder saplings that's a lie they're not rowan saplings Whaley is lying to me there alder sapling yep they're all alder saplings what we're doing here is making critter snares to mutate critter snares place a spider's web above a block of water surround it with alder saplings then a snare a zombie in the web once this is done, right click the web to mutate the older saplings into critter snares. Okay, right click the web. So I just need a zombie. No zombies are going to spawn in there, are they? If it's too light. Right, I need to make it night time, I guess. Let me make it night time. Beep. This is going to take a little bit of running around because my thing to make it night time is right down here. Boom. Oh, my sound's turned off. Let me just turn my sound back on. This is weird with no sound on. Options. Music and sounds. 20%. So, yeah, if anyone's had that issue with Agrarian Skies, uh, I don't know if I should just wait for it to come on to... If it... Oh, hello. Come on to the FTB launcher. Uh, I presume if it's just going to stay on Case, I may have an issue with Case. And, uh, I mean, one thing that I do have issues with is, I am on, despicably, I'm on Windows 8, not 8.1, so I wonder if that's maybe the cause. That's something it doesn't like with my operating system, which uh, won't surprise me, to be honest. Well, let's break these guys. I'm going to want a zombie. Hello. Come chase me, please. That's right. This way, sir. You uh, follow me over here. I don't think I need to click it with a wand or anything. I think I just need to right click the block. So I'll do it with an empty hand just to make uh, just to see if that's exactly what I need. 
Come here, guy. What are you doing? That's right. Stop dicking about. So yeah, I, um, I'm really holding off on killing Leonard because I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting to get my uh, one four guys upgraded. Right, he's in there. And uh, you in there? It's ensnared in it, isn't it? But I think I've done something wrong. Let's read it again. He's setting this duck. There's a spider web above a block of water. Surround it with all the saplings. Snare is on in the web. Right click the web to mutate the older saplings into critter snares. Well, that's what I'm doing. I guess I'm going to have to cut and uh, see what the crack is. Someone needs to read the quest log better. Uh, let's check there, look. Another mutation which can be performed with a mutating sprig, so that's clearly what I need to click it with. So I've just been down and grabbed my mutating sprig out of my chest. There we go, I've now got some critter snares, wonderful. And uh, I've also got a small skeleton issue. So I believe I can pick these up. Yep, there we go, critter snare, so let's have them. So, four of them guys. And I believe that's not the end of the quest. What oh, is? I get four more. Okay, I was expecting... I was expecting a follow one from there, uh, an extra part of that. Okay, the other one here is holding on. The mutated sprig should be able to create a small but useful plant known as a grass bear. This plant will hold any items placed on it. It is worth noting that rates can be, rates can use items that have been held in grass beds. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So a chest above a block of water with long grass to each side, then use the sprig on the chest. Boom. There we go, gets me some graspers. So these are pretty cool. So as it says there, if I had a ritual going that needed a mutating sprig in it, for example, I can go like that and it'll just hold the stuff for the ritual, which is pretty nice. I'm just going to right click to get it back. So I shall pick those up as well. So there we go, four of those. I shall tie this little area up later on. And uh, another reward there. Sweet. So what have we got here? So quick check at these two. So okay, it's actually follow on from that. I thought this was part of the same quest. So toads died out in the wild a long time ago, long before the cataclysm you face anyway. Yet they are still an important animal for witchcraft, so much so that a method was devised to mutate other creatures into toads so they could be readily available for witches should they be needed. Unfortunately, the cataclysm did kill any breeding stock there may have been, so you'll have to mutate your own toads. To start with, you will need two to four ensnared small slams and an ocelot. Okay, slams and an ocelot. You're not slams. Or us a lot, so go away. Let me. I guess I'll have to cut in a minute and sort this out. Uh, let me just jump in here for now. Can't wear them knobs. So, critter snare slams. Okay, so I need to catch some slams in there. And uh, also a lot, which I have got. I believe I should have a spawn slam as well. Let's have a look. Uh, spawn slams I've got. Excellent. And there's a spawn also a lot. So that's pretty straightforward. So all I need to do is, it says small slams, doesn't it? Two to four ensnared small slams, right. So I need to, oh, I guess I can just do this. I think I can pick these back up as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come into here and I'm going to, hmm, can I pick these back up? with a critter in them. Uh, I believe I can. So let's go one, two, three, four. And let's spawn a slam. Oh. Only so I only got one slam out of that. That's there, not ideal. But now I think I can break that. Yeah, there we go. I've got a critter snare with slime in it. Excellent. So that's good. So that works for me. Uh, killing task. I had to kill a toad. Son of a bitch. 
Once you've got your toads, you can tame them with rotten flesh, at which point they will follow you unless you let them tell them to sit. Tame adult toads can obviously be bred using rotten flesh, so they never have to mutate any more toads again, unless you kill off the ones you have. Killing toads can sometimes net a toad frog, with the chance being increased if the air thanner is used. Okay, so that's good to know. So, I need to make some more slime eggs, it seems, because I only get one pair, which is a bit tight. I was hoping for a big slime, so I, I could have smashed into little ones. Let's see if this gives me a small one as well. What if it's... Well, that's a bit bigger. So, what are you going to give me? That's better, isn't it? Come here, little boys. Wonderful. So, throw them. Sweet. So, throw them and my ocelot egg. Which I've left in there. Uh, uh, uh. So once you have these ready, place a spells web above a block of water. Place instead slams the sides, and place four graspers at the corners, and in them place a charge of tune stone and three mutandis extremists. Then get the ocelot caught in the web. Right click the web you're mutating sprig. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. I'm actually going to want to do that inside, down in the farm area. So I'm going to get a couple of things prepped. I don't think I've got any mutandis extremists either. Um, no, I need to charge in a tune stone. I need to make three of these into mutandis extremists. I need to do a little setup down there. So I'll get on with that in just a moment. Let me um, stick them all the logs in there. And uh, let's have a quick look at this other one here. Parliament presiding. Owls, awesome. Owls died out in the wild a long time ago, long before the cataclysm you face anyway, yet they're still important for animals. Witchcraft, so it's pretty much the same as the other one. Um, to start with, you need two or four instead, bats and a wolf. Once you have these ready, place a spider's web above a block of water. So, same kind of thing. So, I guess I'll get this one prepped as well. And I should have spawn bats. So, I might need to make some more of those. So with my other graspers here, how's this going to work? Let's have a look. I'll spawn it straight onto there. Boom. Go in there. Oi! Right, let me work out how to... Uh, I don't know, what's this? If I go... Like this. Let me try and come here, you. Wait, right, stay still. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, some of it. Hey, sweet, that works. Okay, so I've got one. So I need to get three more bats. Um, I guess it's probably an easy way of doing that. But there's one anyway. So I get this all sorted. I should be back when I'm ready to make myself some owls and some toads. Okay then, let's get this done, and uh, they're very noisy, so I'm going to do these ones first. So what I've got here, as it says, I think I've done this right, I've got my four bats, I've got Mutandis Extremis and a Charge of Tune Stone, and the same here, four slams, Mutandis Extremis, Charge of Tune Stone, block of water with a thing there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the wolf one first, because the bats are getting on my nerves. So if I find my teleport thing here, can... Now, I was down here a minute ago, there was some pigs spawned out here. When animals have been spawned out here, I've been killing them, so I've been getting pigs, sheep, and the odd wolf. See there? I don't know if there was a sheep over there then. And uh, I've got the odd, the odd wolf. So I've got this wolf over here, and I decided to uh, bring him into the pen. So what I should be able to do now is shift left click on him, boom, and trap him in there. I think he's trapped in there, and uh, mutating sprig should. You trapped. There we go. Sweet. I've got four owls. And they've all shot off to various parts of the um, thing. How is it beef disease? Do you, you like beef? Come here. Do you like raw beef? Rotten flesh. One of these likes rotten flesh, one of them likes raw beef. I remember it was raw beef. So I should be able to tame these, is what I'm trying to 
Don't feel that. Come here. Come here, damn guy. Is that right? Doesn't seem to be, does it? Oh, maybe. There we go. So, okay, he's now tamed. Sweet. So it was raw beef. Uh, who sat down and stood up? <laughs> so I'll place these owls around when uh, I've got them all tamed. Well, in fact, I think I need to kill one, don't I? Is that right? Uh, that's the toads. That's the owls. Killing task. Kill an owl. Okay, and I, I want my fan out with this. Because the Athana will give me a better chance of an owly wing. There we go. Athana. Come guy. There you go. There's one of them. Oh man, I suck. Can't see shit. Okay, we killed it, but we... Oh, we did. We got an owl at wing. Sweet. I didn't see that coming to my inventory. So, is that a quest done? Killed. All killed. Okay, I get three more owl at wings. So, that's that one done. So, now I need to do the same for the toads. And now I shall... Oh, they're all just sat there. Let me try and catch these guys real quick. Come here, you. Let me catch these. Be right back. Okay then, ban points set and uh, my three owls are tamed and just chilling over there in the trees. Yep, and uh, now what we're going to do is get the ocelots. Uh, this guy's going to try and run away from me of course. So just, boom. Oh, come on, try again. Oh, you s eh. Come here, damn it. Might have to sneak up on him, like you do when you're trying to tame one. <laughs> okay, I'll be back when I've got him in the, in the web. Oh, it ran into the web and ran straight through it. Okay, got him. Sweet. Let's grab the mutating sprig. Boom. Yay, toads. So, for toads, I need rotten flesh. What I'll do is, I'm going to build a little... I'm going to build a little, what do you call it for these, little pond over in this area. There's two. You. There's three, okay. And the fourth one we need to kill, of course. And there you go. Got a tow frog from that, excellent. So there's a couple of things sorted. Now oh, these guys are noisy in the room, right, as well, aren't they? There we go. Hop along, unclaimed reward. Gets me three more toads of frog. And uh, that's it for there. Okay. So what I want to do now is... Are these guys going to follow me? You sat down. I stood up. Can't even tell. Uh, I guess that sat down. Alright, one of you follow me. Over here, please. Okay, two are following me. Right. Sit down. So it's when the legs are in the air is when they sat down. Okay, you sit there. And uh, what should we have to do now is I think this is right. Tear the goddess, demonic blood, order of purity, whiff of magic, diamond. Is that right? Let's have a look. And boom, spuds. I've got a familiar called Spuds. Oh shit. What happened then? I shift right clicked it. Is that when I dismissed it? Oh. I think I just dismissed my pet. <laughs> um, right, let me now find out how to get that back then. Okay, what I need is a hint of rebirth, whiff of magic, breath of the goddess. And that should bring me my pet back according to the. Right, someone in there, someone in your family that has been dismissed or killed. That should give me Spuds back. There he is. Come on then, Spuds. Follow me. Are you sat down or stood up? Okay. So what I actually want is I want to put this guy 
in my witchery room. I think that's where he should be. So let's get him up here. And uh, will you come sit up here? Come here. Um, I said, come here. Oh no. Oh no, I've killed Spuds. Where is he? Have I killed him? <laughs> I think I've killed him. <clears throat> what I should be able to do now, I guess, is go summon him again. Because I just murdered him. Oh dear. What I should be able to do now is speak to Coven Witch. Oh, okay. I guess I have killed him. <clears throat> okay, so I've <laughs> re-summoned Spuds and I've got him sat down there so he's safe there, so that's all good. And uh, what I should be able to do now is... Okay, bring me the means to master the infernal dimension. Speak to me again if you accept. Uh, so, I say... Something to do with the nether, innit? Bring me the means to master the infernal dimension. Is that, uh, a demon heart? It's not, is it? I don't think it's a demon heart, is it? I'll just check. I can't remember. I've done. I've, I've done this before, but I don't remember. Uh, is it what? Oh, it is. Okay. So I've got a coven. Look at that. You dropped an emerald. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so I've now got a coven. Wonderful. So I've got a coven of one. And uh, I just want to try really quick that. I think I had set up. So what was it? Is it a demonic contract? Um, I need to change my circles and that. Tell you what, I'll do that next time. But there we go. We've got a coven now. I've only got. I've got the only coven which I've found out and about though. So she's part of my coven now, which is pretty good. She'll just teleport in and, in and out now and again. Uh, what I want to do now is do a little bit of farmcraft stuff. So a couple of things I want to get on with. One, I've got a couple of things in here. I've got some obsidian, another brick. Iron bars and a lava bucket. I've got some infernal blocks, infernal block stairs, and another lava bucket. The infernal blocks are glowstone, no, sorry, soul stone and soul sand, I mean, and nether bricks. And uh, that's all I need there. This flower mingot's going to be coming in useful very shortly. We're going to be using that. And uh, what I also want is in here, we've got all the bits to make ourselves a node transducer. So let me put on my, uh, my robes there. Get ourselves a node transducer. Put my other armor back on. And advanced node stabilizer. Node transducer. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to want I'm gonna want a redstone block. <laughs> and I'm gonna want one of those. Excellent. So where I've decided to place these, I think, is I'm gonna have these in this room, so I'm going to start putting tech into this room and what I'm actually going to have is I'm going to have my coke oven, one, two, three uh, one, one, two, three so I'm going to have these two up front here so what we're going to have is, hello another bricks they're there they're in there so one, two, three, yeah this is going to be a bit, little bit squashed in but I think it'll look alright so what I'm building here is a blast furnace from Foundcraft and the way we do that is we have obsidian I don't think I've got enough obsidian 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and one more I have one shot on the amount of obsidian I grabbed let's grab a bit more this glove trotter sash makes me run a little bit too fast for these single wide doors. So there's the first first thing we needed. And that goes there. Our iron bars go there. And our bucket of lava I cannot reach inside. Because the roof's in the way. I suck. Let me break that. And let's just do it quick like this. Bucket lava. Aim bars. 
sweet so now right click that with my wand I need 50 of each aspect in for this and boom there we go we've got a lovely infernal furnace now the infernal blast furnace is very similar it's actually 18 blocks I think I'm building these in a bad way to be honest I should probably just line them up along on the wall yeah I'm gonna change this I'm, I'm too squashed in here okay so I've moved things around a little bit and it's a little bit better space though it still looks a bit weird though I moved my coke oven and blast furnace into here as well I will be automating all this stuff of course at some point so what I want to do is I want to lay these down as mentioned one two three so these are just a straight 18 like so and uh, it gets a little bit more complicated at the top I want to have it so the stairs are all facing outwards and uh, I might have a little bit of... no no okay I'm okay yeah, yeah. like so wonderful one more and then a lava block in the middle there with my lava bucket you can see I'm gonna have a go at getting that imp again so that's I believe the structure we need so bam no okay I've done something wrong what have I done wrong let's have a look that one I can't and it's in witching gadgets this thing infernal blast furnace infernal brick you are not infernal bricks are you infernal blocks okay that's what I've done wrong try again then it was infernal brick and uh, I could just chisel the blocks but I had to remake the stairs so I was a little bit more soul sand and nether brick used but now boom there we go and I got a bit of warp from that as well so there we go there is our infernal blast furnace now what should happen here is if I add into the mix a nice yeah yeah there will do oops there will do if I add into the mix a nice energized Ignis node, these should work really fast. So a couple of things I need to do here. Oh, what's happened there? I'll put it in. Um, a couple of things I need to do here. One is I need to bring my 101 Ignis node across to here, like so. Now I'm going to want an advanced node stabilizer below this. And above this, we're going to want our node transducer that we made. Uh, like so. Now our node transducer requires a redstone signal. So let's do it as tiny as we can using a little carpenter block there and a redstone block. Like so. And that is going to become an energized node. Now, what I can do with this is you throw things on the top of these. This one can have the item grid on. I'm not sure if this one can. I'd like it to, but I'm not sure if it can. Uh, what you need to have is you need to have a way to capture things because it splits things out the front. So I made a couple of hungry chests. I'm going to have them there and there. And uh, let's give this a try. So what I want to do here is I want to grab some rutil. I'm going to chuck it in the top. And I'll see if this guy works. So this this becomes energized. What we should have is an energized ten. Once this is done, come on. Oh, we up. There we go. So there we go. We've got a nice, lovely energized ten. Very nice. That's going to be very useful for us. I want to slung one of these in here at the minute. I will, of course. Oh, there you go. You can see it's working because it's gone blue. And you can see there. See that little red, little red um, bits of ignis are flowing across. It's still pretty slow, even with that ignis. So there, yeah, that's a uh, very slow indeed. So let's have a look. I don't think it has a town here, does it? Oh, there we go, it's out. So what we've got should have from that. It came straight to my inventory. We've got a straight up titanium ingot, so we don't have to go through the impure part, so we don't have to mix of course molten titanium. To make that we had to make with impure and magnesium. So by making this we've been able to skip that section. So I'm gonna chuck all thirty five of them in there. Probably I'm not. I'll chuck all 35 of them in there. There we go. I shall come back in a bit. 
And uh, we've got them there. Wonderful. Now what I'm quickly going to do, I'll wrap up very shortly. I was going to start making some golems in this episode, but uh, I'm going to save that for the next episode. I'm going to have one more go at getting this demonic contract on the go. So, let's uh, take that off. I just want to take my um, robes off. Put my armor back on just in case this little imp is a bit of an arsehole. Because we don't know. He could be a bit of an arsehole. So, um, let me out. Damn door. Not Dumbledore. Uh, right. So we got this thing. So remember last time it said I had I needed a bigger coven. So then the pearl refined evil, tombstone, demonic blood. What's that? It? And it's the red infernal thing we need there. You require more coven members to reform this right. Okay, so still no good. Oh well then, okay, I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, next episode I'm going to get some golems made. I'm going to make a tree farm. This under here is a... Under here we have got a... What do you call it there? Ritual of the Green Grove from Blood Magic, which will help our tree grow. I'm going to have a single little tree farm going here with some golems. I'm going to make some golems for some other things as well, but that's going to be a start. So yeah, I, ho I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you as always for watching. We have got some owls. We have got some frogs. We have got a coven albeit it's only one now i may need to summon the coven to here and for that i believe you need a seer stone uh, one of them guys so i have to rem remind myself how to make that and uh we'll, we'll try getting getting this in fact this uh do you want it contract done another time okay thank you for watching i hope to see you next time cheers bye